Hey there, in this video I'll show you how to create retention cords within Y42. Uh, so what you see here is a very basic cord table um, for an e-commerce shop that runs on both Amazon as well as Shopify. We want to union those uh, two tables and then uh, basically look at the different months as cohorts with the order volume and uh, segment this by the subsequent months. Uh, what we also want to be able to do is actually further segment this down, for example, by looking at the shop that these orders came through and then be able to compare the different segments and see that Amazon actually only has uh, one-time buyers. All right, so what do we need for this? Uh, we need the total amount, we need the first order date, we need the month since first order, and the shop, of course. All right, let's jump straight into it. Uh, so typically the first step would be to integrate the data sources, but we did this for this video already, so we can start with the fun part. Let's create the retention model. And uh, first things first, let's uh, first input the different order tables. So I'm picking the uh, Shopify orders here first, so you see the different columns with their um, respective rows, and I'm gonna do the same thing for the Amazon orders. Cool, so now that we got both of them in here, uh, let's union them so we have all orders in one table. In the preview, you can see that now everything's in here. The thing is that our order date should actually be um, a date uh, column and not a text column. So what we need to do to do the further calculations down the road is parse this using the date parser node. So the date part of the node uh, basically helps you to uh, cast this into the right format. Um, so we're going to select the order date column, um, give it the right format, and then see that now uh, what was a text column before is now a date column. All right, um, now that we've done that, uh, the next step would be to calculate the first order date. And how we're going to do that is to use um, the aggregations node which I need to connect first and uh, then be able to say, hey, for each customer, I actually want to look at the different order dates and I want uh, to get the minimum of that. Um, and that's going to be my first order date for each customer. And you see here, uh, for each customer ID now, we have the first order date. All right, um, as a next step, uh, what we would need to do is to join that back uh, with the orders table that we have. So we're going to use a join node. It's going to be left table. The aggregation is going to be the right table. I'm going to auto align in the meantime. Um, and here you'll see we'll do a left join based on the customer's ID. And voila, now we have all the orders with their respective first order date. And in the next step, what we're going to do is to um, then compare this with the uh, order date. So uh, I'm going to take the order date, subtract it from, uh, with the first order date, and then be able to see the months since first order in months. Um, order date minus first order date, and boom, we've got the months since first order. So by now we've assembled all the columns that we need, and uh, we're going to create an output now. Uh, which we're going to use for the different visualizations um, that I just showed you at the beginning. Okay, so I'm saving this. Uh, basically, this is version control, so you could always roll back uh, should you uh, have destroyed your model. Um, and now that it's done, we're going to create the visualization. Cool. So we're picking the retention model that we just built. And uh, now you see here you have different types of uh, visualizations. We're going to go with the pivot table. And what we want to do is basically, hey, we want to uh, do all of this by the first order date, um, by the month. And we want to see the total amount uh, for that. And then subsequently segment this by the month since first order. And this will give you the table that you've seen in the beginning. Um, and now you have the retention cord. 